Hey guys, it's Erica here from Vacat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to edit your mobile navigation menu for your Brine template Squarespace 7.0 site. There's not too many settings for this one. It's pretty straightforward, so let's dive right in. All right, so we're going to talk about adjusting our mobile menu and navigation on our Squarespace 7.0 Brine family template. So if you're not sure what template you're on, you can quickly check over in design template. I'm currently using Brine, but Brine also has a bunch of different other templates that are within the Brine family. So these settings will work for all of the Brine family templates. If you're not sure, I've actually linked an article below that lists all of the templates that are included within the Brine family. But if you clicked on this video, you probably are using Brine, hopefully. So let's just jump straight into the settings. First off, let's change the view we're looking at into mobile. So click on this little line at the top, then click on the mobile icon and you're going to be taken to your mobile site. Then we want to click on design site styles and this is going to take us to our site wide styles. Now with Brine, we love Brine because there are so many extra mobile settings. There's a lot of Squarespace 7.0 templates out there. Some of them have some mobile navigation settings, some have none and Brine definitely has the most. So this is one of the many reasons we really like the Brine template for Squarespace 7.0. So basically if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that menu, you're gonna find your mobile settings. So they're always at the bottom here. I'm gonna scroll up slightly until I get to mobile. So the first thing we're gonna look at is mobile top. And this is this top navigation bar here. You can choose to fix this. So that means when you scroll, it's going to be attached to the top. I really like this setting for mobile. It makes it a lot easier to navigate especially if you have really long pages. So you can toggle that on and off and you can also change the background color of this here. Now the second setting we have here is the mobile bottom. And this is like a brine only feature. They have this secondary menu that you can have across the bottom. Now this is a little bit cut off on my browser for some reason, hopefully it will come right. But you can see this menu here down the bottom and you can see that it's fixed to the bottom of the page. So this is the bottom menu that it's referring to. I'll change the background color of it just so you can see what I'm talking about. This one here, and it currently has my cart in it and nothing else. So it's a little bit annoying that we can't see it, but as long as you know that it's there, it's gonna make more sense when we talk about positioning of all of the menu items. So let's just keep scrolling down. Mobile branding, you can adjust the position. So I just talked about position. We can do top left, top center, or top right. So when it's top, it's going to put it in that top menu. And then when you choose the bottom settings, it's going to put it down the bottom menu. So bottom left, bottom center, or bottom right. I'll just change that back to top left. But now that you can see, you can put things in either the top menu or the bottom menu, which is very cool. If you've uploaded a logo image, you can change the width of it. If you're just using text, you can change the font and the color here. You can play around with the menu icon. So again, you can change that position with the same options. And you can also change the actual style from all of these different options here for the icon. And again, of course, the color. For the search icon, you can change the position again. For all of these, you can also choose hide within the position. So if you didn't want to show the search icon at all on mobile, you could just hide it. Or we could change it to bottom right, which is going to put it down here in this bottom menu. Same thing again with the cart. You've got position, style, font, and color. Then we're getting onto the actual menu. So the pop-out menu that you see when you actually click on the menu link. We have lots of options here. So you've got the mobile menu general settings, primary, and then secondary navigation settings. So when you start playing around with these settings, you'll see the actual menu pop out. So let me just adjust the settings and you can see the differences and it shows them to you live, which makes it really easy to adjust. So basically this is just what side is it going to pop out? I'm going to leave it as left. So the cross button is in the same area as the menu button was. We could change the backdrop color. So this is the color of this area here. So I'll just choose some random colors here to show you which colors apply where. So this is the backdrop color. I've just changed to blue. You can hide or show the close button. I recommend leaving that on. 
You can change the clothes background color. So I'm going to change that to purple just so you can see what I'm talking about. You can change the clothes icon color. So I've just changed that to white. The menu color. So that's just the color of the entire menu background. And the indicator color is this little arrow here. And you'll have an indicator if you have a drop down menu on your desktop site. So on mobile, the drop down menu will translate to have this little arrow. So you click on it and then it will open a secondary menu, which will be whatever was included in your drop down on desktop. So if you want to change the indicator, you could change it to something like that. I apologize for these ugly colors, but it's just for example purposes. Then you can come down to your primary navigation. So within Brine, you have primary and secondary navigation options. And these are set within your pages panel. We have a video about how to completely customize your navigation in the Brine template using the primary and secondary navigation. So I'm going to link that below if you're not sure what those are and how those work. I go into much more depth about those in that video and how you can create a really interesting design on your desktop using those two different navigations. So if you are using those two different navigations, you will have options for primary and secondary. If you're only using primary, you'll only have options here for primary. So it depends how your desktop site is set up, but let's start with primary. It's pretty straightforward. You can adjust the font. So the font of your primary navigation, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit so you can see what happens when I start adjusting. Sometimes the menu disappears when you start adjusting this, which is really annoying, but <laughs> you can just toggle on and off some other settings and it should come back so you can actually see what you're doing. So I'm going to increase the size of my primary font quite a bit. So then you'll actually be able to see that this font now is quite a lot bigger. So adjust all of your font settings within here, however you want to. And that is your primary navigation. So for the secondary navigation, right now it has inherit primary navigation styles ticked. So essentially it's going to just copy these exact settings. So if I uncheck this, you're going to get another set of settings that are completely independent. And then, so you can adjust the font again, the text color, and there's also this option here on both of these to convert whatever navigation you're choosing to buttons. And then when you click that, you have all of these options to actually adjust the styles of those buttons. So there's a ton of options here for the Brine mobile navigation. They're all at the bottom of your site styles. So jump in, play around with all of those. And I hope you found this really helpful. I hope you can make something super custom for your site. If you want to make any edits past what's offered here, you will need to use custom CSS to adjust the menu which is possible, but I do think the built-in options for Brian are actually pretty advanced and hopefully all you need for your mobile navigation. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.